This instructional video presented by Faber Industrial Technologies will cover how to place a Denso VS-6556GM 6-axis arm into the CalSat position. The tools needed to perform this procedure will be an M3 hex key, an M4 hex key, a Japanese industrial standard screwdriver size 1, four M5 by 20 millimeter screws, and the CalSat jig with the stopper pin placed at location 3. If you don't have a JIS screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver will work in a pinch. Just be careful. Let's get started. One of the first things we'll need to do in order to get started is to locate the CalSet bolt that'll go right here. So in order to do that, we'll need to remove the three screws that are covering the second arm cover. Once you've removed those screws, go ahead and remove the cover. Inside, you'll notice three screws on a bracket. This is the CalSet bolt shown here with the arrow. Carefully remove that bolt from the bracket. If you noticed when we started this procedure, we started with the fourth axis hand control signal connector, or CN21, oriented on the top side of this axis. So when we look inside, we want to make sure that the cast crank is not in the way or bound up in the internal wiring in any way. As you'll notice in this particular picture, that is correct. Once you've removed the CalSet bolt from in its bracket within the third axis arm cover, rotate the fourth axis in the positive direction approximately 170 degrees, or until it stops. In order to rotate it further, we'll need to release the brake on this axis. In order to turn the brakes off, first press arm or F2 on the teach pendant, which will bring up this screen. Then press shift and F12 or maintenance, which will bring up this screen. Then press F3 or the brake button. That will bring up the dialog box with the brake release settings. Touch the axis number that you want to move, in this case J4, and then press OK. This will confirm if you want to actually remove or apply the brake. Press OK. Once you've removed the brake on the fourth axis, go ahead and rotate the fourth axis just far enough to expose the hole required to mount the CalSat bolt. If we take a second look inside of that access hole in the second arm cover, we'll see that the crank has now come into view and is actually pushed past the internal wiring. This is what this should look like and not the other way around. If you have any questions on this, please consult the maintenance guide or contact your local Denso distributor for more questions. Once you've made space to access the CalSet bolt hole for the fourth access, go ahead and insert the bolt and then rotate the fourth access arm as shown here. Now we can put the first five axes into the CalSet position. Turn the first axis in the positive direction until it stops up against its hard stop. As always, be careful when moving the robot arm around so that you don't run it into anything. Move the second axis in the negative direction until it reaches its hard stop. Move the third axis in the positive direction until it hits its hard stop. Move the fourth axis in the positive direction until it hits the hard stop that we've inserted. Move the fifth axis in the positive direction until it hits the hard stop. Let's take a closer look at that sixth axis. On the bottom left here, we see three bolts next to each other. If we look across the circle, we'll see another pattern. That top silver bolt is what we'll call bolt A. And right next to it is the space where we're going to put the stopper pin from the CalSet jig into. This is the CalSet jig. This pin right here is what is called the knock pin. This will go in the hole that is not threaded on the inside set of holes. This stopper pin will go in that space between bolt A and the adjacent space opposite from those two bolts right there, which we indicated initially. If that space doesn't line up, go ahead and rotate the 6th axis until it's relatively close. The 6th axis does not have a physical hard stop, so placing this CalSet jig in this spot will allow us to create the hard stop that we'll need to create the software limit. Now that we've got all the axes close to where they need to be, it's time to move them the rest of the way manually. Let's go ahead and release the brakes on all of the axes like we did earlier. This will cause the arm to sag which will allow you to put all of the axes into the position where they need to be. 
Gently move all the axes individually up against all of the hard stops, including axes 4 and 6, which are the hard stops that we installed. It's critical to make sure that each of these axes is up against the hard stop indicated so that the encoders can properly calculate the CalSET positions. Navigate to the maintenance screen in the same manner as we did before by pressing ARM, SHIFT key, and F12 or the maintenance, and then you'll land at the maintenance screen. Press the CalSET button. Now you can individually select each of the axes that you want to CalSET. In this case, we'll select all six axes. Press OK. The system will ask you if you want to carry out the CalSET. Press OK. Then there will be a message dialog box that says that the CalSET has been completed. It's always a good idea after performing a CalSET to make sure that the rang values match the actual position values. The list of the rang values for each arm is located on the back of the arm here. If the rang values do not match the current values, you've performed the CalSET improperly. Either re-perform the CalSET or contact your local Denso distributor for assistance. Thank you for watching this instructional video on how to place a Denso VS-6556GM 6-axis arm into a CalSET position, presented by Faber Industrial Technologies. Have a great day.